mutation nomenclature all the variants should be described at the most basic level that is the dna level description should always be in relation to the reference sequences Coding DNA sequence should be used, although theoretically DNA sequence suits best, but while practically the coding sequence of the DNA is usually used to represent the variation in the DNA or at the level of proteins. When genomic sequence is not known, then cDNA sequence can be used in place of genomic DNA sequence. If we see the nomenclature that how to write the mutations or the genetic variants, while writing the nomenclature of the mutations, C is used for the coding DNA sequence, while G is used for the genomic sequence. M is used for the mitochondrial sequence. R is used for the RNA sequence, while P is used for the protein sequence. While describing the mutation nomenclature, genes, proteins should be used those symbols which has been assigned by the Hugo gene nomenclature committee so those symbols and those names should be used dna reference sequence used should preferably from the reference sequence which are present in different databases those databases are listed in the form of accession numbers and version numbers so these are the accession and version numbers which are listed in reference sequence databases if we see that how to write the nomenclature of a mutation, what should be considered while writing the nomenclature of a mutation? F5, it represents to Hugo, HG and C, official gene symbol. Then NM underscore, this is a number that has been assigned in the gene bank accession number. It is also called as version number while C is for a coding DNA sequence. 16051 is G to A is converted. The meaning is that guanine which is present at position 1601 has been changed into adenine at the position of 1601. While in this case P is for the protein and arginine is changed which is present at the position number 534 the codon where arginine was present the number of the codon was 534 this arginine is replaced by an other amino acid so while describing the variants which are found either at dna level or an RNA level or at protein level, we should consider the nomenclature which has been described by HGNC.